all right let's start it up we are back another game of deceive inc we're playing cavalier here today and let's get right to it. we got silver reef. we've got the weapon ones because i've been kind of enjoying them i'm not confident they're overly great right now um but they're really fun to use so i thought i'd break them back out uh what the heck happened up there that was like weird movement but it was in the corner of my eye <laughs> I feel like this might be a player. Maybe not. Maybe? Didn't grab the post of credits though. Need this. Maybe not. Maybe just a little weird movement at the start of the game. Alright. So our weapon ones here are just alternating firing pistols. Pretty cool. That was a door, okay. Thought I heard like a Sasori or something. Have a Larson like shooting next to me. Oh, I can't hack trap this room. <laughs> ah, of course, he had the poo finally came up. I wonder if they touched anything in this room that I can. Did get there in the end with that trace. That was pretty big brain, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like that. That was a good play. <laughs> um What happened over here? This is a different reason people are coaching. Oh boy. Okay. One of these three hat guards plus the one in that room. I think it's this one. It's not this one. It's that one. Come here. Alright, do not recommend the go flying at a <laughs> fully auto running at a fully automatic weapon with a charged kick. But it kinda worked out for us there. So, you know, clearly it was the right play. Anyway, we never really finished talking about the weapon. They're alternating firing pistols. We've had a decent look at the fire rate. Um, I believe it's 14 to the body and like 19 to the head. Um, so it does okay damage. We do need to land, you know, quite a few shots to actually get the kill here. But our fire rate goes pretty quick. So they're decent. I think they're probably behind the weapon threes in terms of picking the best weapon. I don't know why she's in the fountain, but I'm going to assume that's not a play because, like, yeah. Um, anyway, we've, I mean, we've got some kills here, but otherwise, not done a lot. Oh, that canceled that? Okay. Today I learned also this hacking. Hey, Doug. Um, Time to go on patrol. That was kind of weird, Doug, but, you know. I like you. Also, I've kind of shot you a couple times recently, so... You, you, you're you good this time. I also should hack trap these doors. Anyway, that's kind of the weapon. Let's talk about our expertise. Our expertise is investigate. We already use it on Larson, actually, so it'll be a little easier to explain. We go into that mode with the clipboard here, or notepad, I suppose it is. And, uh... Well, if someone touched something in the last, I think it's like three minutes, two and a half minutes, um, it glows and then we can, uh, well, click on it slash investigate it and they we get a trace on them. So we can investigate up to three things they touched recently and we get a longer trace based on how many of them we investigate. So... Um, on that Larson, we got like the shortest possible trace, but if we get, uh, I think all three, it's like an eight second trace or something. It can be pretty long, so even if you have to go like across the map, it, you can still kind of track someone down. And it has a bit of a long cooldown, but you can cancel it early like you've seen me do. If we don't see anything pretty quickly, I tend to cancel it early. So, like, I can use it in here where obviously no one's been, and then you can see it only used, like, a quarter of that cooldown, and now it's coming back pretty quickly. So, it's not bad to use just to check if someone's been in a room you're entering. 
and things like that uh, recently. Obviously, there is a cooldown. Uh, like I said, the two and a half minutes or so, three minutes. Did I get that? I did. That's how I got in the room. Um, so it's not infinite time to just investigate someone, but it's a pretty long time. All right. Is that bonds? It is. There's just bonds sitting there. Don't mind if I do. One thing to be slightly aware of when using these expertise is you can accidentally look really sus yourself. See, like, we know someone's at this, but it's been too long for that to actually be still lit up. Um, but yeah, you can end up accidentally looking really sus yourself because you're kind of running from things someone touched to things someone touched. And, uh, <laughs> well, that just makes it look like you're do touching it yourself. So, yeah, it can look really sus by accident. And you could just get shot. Uh, gambling here is probably a bad idea. There's only one item we could actually get. And the chance of that's pretty low, so. Just head to the vault here. Let's be aware of anyone else maybe running to the vault here. I'm not seeing anybody. That Doug's coming out of the vault, which is weird. There's another one. Can I just be like a third Doug here for a second? Yeah, what the heck is happening here? I'm gonna walk backwards this way for a moment, see if we see anyone coming in. But I feel like the two gu Dugs on guard there are just like... <laughs> I feel like someone would come in and shoot them maybe. Oh, and they're all, is, it, is it just vacation day for Doug? He's just heading out? Like... <laughs> Alright. Let's get down there. We don't have a gold, which means we don't have that bonus health I like so much, but we'll find one. Um, my hack traps been a little lackluster this day. We haven't been in amazing spots to use them, but we might cover. Um, we'll just kind of try to put well, another four down or so in this area just to get some down. Really? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna hide here and heal. They can see my footies, though. Okay. And we're gonna do this anyway. I can social here. This is not a great idea, but I'm doing it. We'll probably lose the package of this Larson, because by the time I'm done washing my hands here, they will have uh, their key card and just be gone. Yep. That was a big mistake. So we can trace that, and that, and that, and we do get some trace on them to know that they're going this way. Ooh. Nope, he's not that. I gotta back up, I think. Ah, dude, I don't know if I have time for this. He's still on the run himself, but did he stop to heal? I gotta stop at this and eat all this food. We'll take the back rooms out, though. Nice. Unfortunately, no gold key card for us. Or gold chip for us, which means we're gonna be missing 15 HP the whole game. Make sure I have ammo, and this is actually a kind of great pickup for us. Not sure exactly where they'll be coming out. Sounds like. Alright. Seems like Chavez is having an issue. I don't want to fight them next to their turret, though it is... I think we just do this. Whoop. Hit this button for a second. Oh boy. Kind of good move by them to make sure I was trying to get, you know, forcing me to fight in their turret zone. 
but we did manage to get enough shots off. Wasn't sure if his gun was glowing. I wasn't sure if I hit the shield there once. I might have, but the big red don't shoot zone did just remind me not to shoot it. Where am I going? And that's some cav weapon one. We never did talk about the uh, passive, but that'll be a game two talk. So I'll see you guys there in a second. Just bucket around the car for a second. And somehow still only managed to use like three hack traps the whole game, but one of them went off. So like honestly points for that, right? Okay. How did we do there? Four, I think, kills? I think we got two at the start and two in the vault there. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do a game two and see how we do. All right, we are back and we are on Sound Eclipse here. One of the one of the bigger maps, the biggest map, actually. Um, one of the key elements I was missing. Interesting start. Now that this green room's here, this kind of spawn spots a lot better. But I did miss that green guy walking. And before I forget to actually do it, let's talk passive here. I have passive two, which all of Cav's passes are on her charged melee, the inc the charged melee. So we actually did see that last game, but. Um, what it does is um, your charged melee... Why did I think I had a disguise? I literally just finished saying I didn't have a disguise. Um, anyway, what the charged melee does is when you land it on a, uh, a rival, a, an enemy, but not like a regular NPC, it didn't happen on that guy, obviously. Uh, we get amped up, which is just a fancy way of saying move speed. Um, and we also get a free reload, so if our guns are empty or, you know, missing any bullets, it just reloads them. So, it's not bad. Um, I took it here because our reload time's long-ish. All of Cav's, you know, reload times are long-ish. Um, but I thought it might be helpful to... Yeah. Also, I should have gamble box first, but, you know, never punished. Never punished, definitely got credits. Um... <laughs> You know what? Let's actually use this, maybe. Probably no one will use this, but hey. Alright. One change that I can talk about that happened to the hack trap, because um, I don't... I think it was in a bug fix on a patch, which is why I didn't really know about it, because I don't really pay attention to bug fixes. <laughs> um, and you just saw me do it. You can hack trap doors that are open now. There used to be, I guess it was a bug, presumably. Um... You couldn't hack trap a door that was open for some reason, and well, now you can, so. Something's fishy. Okay, we kind of want to head towards like C and use our expertise. I'm hoping there's four intel in here, which is kind of a lot to ask. I should probably have used my expertise. Okay, there is. Um, I'm not sure what one of those hack traps went on. All right, that puts a bunch down for us at least. One of the reasons I took hack trap here is because I figured if someone actually hits the hack trap, that's going to tell me that someone touched that door and then I can investigate it and trace them. So it's kind of like getting extra value from the hack trap. Right, we got a dug and it looks like they're in the green room. I'm just going to hunt them down. Let's do it. Oh, I don't want them to see us, though. Should try and blend in with the crowd. It is a Hans, which is terrifying. I was going to try to wait for them to come out. They mustn't. All right, their paranoia kind of got the better of them. And, well, we were able to capitalize like that. Um, I do kind of want a blue, which means I could go back to C, but honestly, let's go to B. So, they must have entered that green room, like, as I was moving the hack traps, because you can see it's only on one of those two doors. And I didn't hear the hack trap go off anywhere, so... Alright, looks like we might end up getting a blue in the vault. Let's just get a disguise and head that way, maybe. Once again... No gold for us, but we also need a ton of intel here, don't we? This guard could be a player. I don't know why. This Hazen could also be a player. 
but it's probably not. That guard could have been a player. I don't know why they're running now, but... I do need intel, and I do have a green key card, so... This was grabbed a while ago, I guess. I was kind of banking on the idea that someone grabbed that, like, a second ago, as they ran in. That's almost enough intel. I don't mind jumping here because we're already in a really sus position to begin with. Okay. Can hack trap these doors. Ooh, this is a blue key card. It is. That's actually a really good pickup for us. Uh, that's really far away from us. I'm not sure what that person's doing. Is this gone? This is gone. Oh, that's because they're right above us. It's a Larson. Oh, if I could get to the store. There we go. I'm only going to get two things. Oh, they are already deep in the uh, vault, aren't they? And I think that thing above us was going, too. I'll survey the perimeter. All right. We gotta be on some good behavior. I do want my uh, investigate back up. Ooh. I'm not seeing anything. I don't want it to go on too long of a cooldown. This vault's rather big. I kind of just want to start something, but we also know there's a Lyson around. <laughs> I can start this one. It's in like a corner. Although we did hear someone else is on, but there's also a fight up there, so... I should also put this down. Nope. All right, one of the problems with the guard disguise is if anyone catches us opening stuff here, we're kind of screwed. Right, we don't have a blue or a gold, so we can't social. We can get a gold if we get the package, or even if the package is grabbed right now, we'll probably rush in and try to get that gold. Because um, that plus 15 HP, well, I really like to have extra HP. All right, don't forget the gold. Don't forget the gold. Don't forget the... <laughs> okay. Didn't forget it. Alright, we're kind of sprinting a bit, which isn't great. That little sprint right there is actually kind of problematic, because we can't get quite out of this area without pinging. Because I sprinted the first little bit. Although... Uh, we were missing a blue. If I could get one of those. Alright, well that's unfortunate. I was trying to find a blue. Alright, well they went. Okay. Whoops. Alright. There's a cut. There's like three people left. I'm gonna hit this button because if we ping in here, um, it's not gonna be great. But... One of them was down here. No, it's a Yumi in there above us. All right, a lot of people to wade through here. Anyone see a spy pass by? If we could call someone down to us a little bit, that would be really good. Or or force a fight up there would also be quite good couple things that could happen that would be really nice for us. I think that's a fight up there we just saw. So I'm gonna book it this way because it's the closest way out of here. If we can use this distraction to get out of the vault, that's all I'm trying to achieve here. I just want out of the vault area at this point. Okay. Yeah, okay. There was a fight. But now we get to play around outside the vault, which is a much bigger space that they have to contend with. Uh, and I think it's just the Yumi. Yep, me fat fingering my button like six times. It's fine. We can call this one in and then deal with it from there.
We're gonna be super sus here for a little bit. Let's see if they figured it out yet. Oh, Doug! Ah, jeez. There's still someone else. There's a squire with a nice hat. Now, I could just leave, but the squire is going to make a mistake. Three reload. All right, the squire didn't actually really make a mistake, but uh, <laughs> when he pulled out the shield, it gave us the sec to reload and we can cover behind the giant fin of that car. So that was a really good, I'll say kill heavy game. And we got some good use out of our investigate. I tried to use the kick there, like how I intended to empty the, the mag and then um, do the kick for the reload on the Yumi, but Doug kind of got in the way on us, which is was a bit unfortunate because if we landed on that Yumi, uh, I think she just died from the kick based on how much we shot her after the fact. But it was a pretty good game. A um, couple Larsons there. Anyway, do like the video if you enjoyed. Comment on your thoughts as always and subscribe for daily deceiving content like this. And I will see you in the next one.